In today's video, you're gonna learn how to customize the stock chart in Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation. When we get inside Trader Workstation, what you want to do is go ahead and create a new chart. We don't wanna use the one we have here on the actual mosaic layout because we cannot manipulate this chart and move it around to other screens. We want to have a chart that we can move to other side screens if we want to do so. This one is static on this main display. So what we're gonna do is there's two options here. You can either click a stock up here in your actual portfolio or, or watch list and click new chart you can do that way. Or you can go up to the top left and click new window and click chart and make it that way. And that'll pop up a new chart. And you can then manipulate and do whatever you want to, to make it look better and pretty. On your brand new stock chart on the Y axis going top to bottom on the right hand side is the stock price. We're looking at Apple currently on the stock chart. While on the bottom is your time increments and this can change depending on what you wanna show for data. There's also volume on the bottom with these different colored bars. If you wanna to toggle volume on or off, you click this little X button here. If you wanna pop back on this little kind of bar down here, will pop the volume back on or off. So the data on this chart is being shown for a one year period and is shown as a line chart, but you can change that to a candlestick chart or change the time period if you want to do so. To do that, click up here in the top left. You can see there's different kinds of time frames. There's a one month line chart, which looks a little bit different. There's also a monthly candlestick chart. There's a monthly or an hourly candlestick chart, and you can change those time increments and display for the data as you please. Let's go back to a line chart just for now. If you wanna change the price increment shown here on the far right, you can use that by toggling these little arrows up or down and extend or contract the price increments that you see. And if you actually wanna zoom in on a part of the chart, you can actually click this little magnifying glass here, click zoom in, and it'll just give you kind of a range where you want to go and zoom in a little bit further into the data. If you wanna zoom back out, click the magnifying glass with the little red, red uh, minus sign on it to zoom out. Back to your original chart setting. If you want to turn your crosshair on, all you have to do is right click and turn crosshair on, and then you'll get this nice little crosshair pop up and it'll give you a little bit more information on the right-hand side for when you're looking at price and doing a little bit more technical analysis. If you want to add some indicators to your chart, there are two ways to do it. You can right click and go add study. You can pick from some of these lists here if you know what you're looking for or go to all studies to get the little window that pops up where you can pick studies here on the left. You can actually search from up here in the search bar. The other way to do it is to go up to the top and go edit studies and it'll pop up that same kind of window here and you can go through and click what studies you want to add. Let's say we wanted to add a simple moving average to our chart. We just click the plus button here. We'd look for a simple moving average. We click add, and then you can click apply to actually apply it to the chart. You see the chart in the background is updated, but if you click okay, you'll do the same thing, but it will close this dialog window and you'll have to go back into the edit page to reopen it. In terms of customizing our simple moving average here or any other chart study that you decide to add, you can just do it so in the right-hand side, it'll give you different kinds of options which you can move around. And for here, let's go to the nine day moving average to a 200 day moving average, make that change. Let's also change the color. We can change that color here and make it uh, hot pink. Let's do that. And then again, we'll click okay this time and it should update, which it has there. Let's add something else to the chart using the other method of right clicking on the screen, going down to add study. I want to add something in the moving averages column. I want to add something known as Bollinger Bands. And when I do that, I don't actually have the pull-up window. I just add them right to the chart. If I want to edit them, right, we have to go back, right-click, add study, all studies. I can go in now and I can actually update my Bollinger Bands to show different things. I can change the colors again. Let's go light blue for the upper, lower, let's go yellow. And for the moving average in the middle, let's go green. I'll click apply. Those changes have been made and I will click okay to close that window down. I'll also note that you do have a legend now popping up in this area right here. It shows you these different colors for the upper Bollinger Band, lower Bollinger Band, the moving average, just to give you an idea of what every single line on the chart is. If you wanna turn that legend off, just right click and go hide legend, it'll pop away. I'm gonna bring it back, right click, show legend, and you can edit it that way. You can also go into the edit and you can go chart parameters. And there's a multitude of different things you can turn on and off in this area here. If you wanna turn the legend off, just click right here. It'll turn off, click apply, it is gone, turn it back on, it is back on. One thing I do like to add to my charts when I'm looking at different stocks and S&S are potential dividend dates. If you click splits and dividends under the chart parameter study, you can go ahead and click that and apply it. It'll now pop up with dividend dates on the bottom there. You can see time-wise when those dividends are paid out, which can impact your investment decisions. If you want to trade from inside your stock chart, all you have to do is go to edit and add a couple things from chart parameters to the screen to be able to do so. You want to go ahead and add the buttons panel. You also want to add the chart trader panel to show you your positions and then you click apply. Those will show up at the bottom of the chart. It will then give you the option to buy and sell right from the chart and give you your orders as you put them in from your chart as well. They will log in here. You can also check the high and low price of the stock you're currently looking at to make sure you're trading within a certain range by going to chart parameters and clicking high, low here down in the highlight on the y-axis and click apply. It will then display this high and low area for the day. You can see the stock price is relative to where the actual high and low for the stock is on the day.
If you want to see other stocks information displayed on this chart, just go up the top left, click the drop down. It'll populate some of the recent searches you've been looking at. You can also type in up here in the top your different kind of searches, what you want to see. Or type in Nike here and click Stock Smart. It'll display the, the data for Nike with the same kind of chart settings that we had applied previously. Don't forget, you can also use the link in the top right to actually link this back to your portfolio in different groupings. And if you want to learn how to actually save a chart template so that all your work today in TWS doesn't get lost or reset and actually apply it to multiple stocks at the same time in multiple charts, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out this next video right here.